everyone is responsible for the education of the kids today. And in the digital age, parents and educators are both under tremendous pressure on equipping kids with the most important necessary skills for the future jobs. Technology could be the answer for this question and to the answer for this challenge, but we know that it needs to be used strategically. And as a parent, you may find out too late that someone you love has missed the opportunity to progress in their career and find their place in the professional life. Born and raised in the country that doesn't exist anymore, the first time I met the technology was about 30 years ago and it was on a page of an, on a very old school book. So that was uh, technology progressing around the world, but was not yet available in my school. This made me think that something is going wrong there, and I decided that I need to become a teacher, because this is something that can help me to change the world. So that was my dream at school. And have you had a dream when you were a kid? So then I decided to become a teacher, and I went to school, uh, went to the university, and after graduating, I discovered that actually... Kids are studying, I was pushed to, to teach with the same books that, kid, that I used to study as a kid myself, and the same books that my parents used to study with. Then I thought like, okay, if I can't change anything becoming a teacher, then I need to do something different. So I decided to change my career dramatically, and I went to the IT, and decided to learn from the best and the innovative companies in the world. So I worked for big corporations in the IT, and I thought to set myself on a mission to disrupt education. You need to become an expert in education technology and help others to understand how it works and what benefits could be from using this technology. Thinking of that, I understood that there are different methods that are used in the, um, at school nowadays. And we, can, we could use these methods um, in different ways. The important thing here is to acquire the information that is out there the information that we currently have is massive and we have less time than we used to have before to acquire it. We're using, we are living in the age of information economy. And acquiring information and having the access to the knowledge helps kids actually to get the most important uh, thing ever, to understand their strengths. When they understand their strengths, they're able to apply and find the better way in their professional lives as well. Today, only one kid out of seven knows at school what they want to do in the future. So, you all probably remember when you went to the, uh, when you studied at school, you went to the library. You remember the dusty shelves uh, with the books and the time you needed to find the information. So today, it's done a lot differently, and and kids of today need to be proud of their parents because they graduated without Google. They didn't have access to the information at their fingertips. How we can study today? We need to use a simple method. And the simple method is that we hear and we forget. We see and we remember. We do and we understand. Combining all those, we'll be able to acquire and retain information as long as possible. The thing here is that when we studied, we had the book, we had the pictures and we did some lab experiments. But how it could change in the world of today? Imagine the education would be like this. With the help of visual technology, just with the help of a mobile device, we can create and consume different content that can help to activate different senses as well. Augmented reality is the visual technology, and as you can see, that just taking a mobile device and having an app installed, it's easy to launch different senses within the classroom. It's seeing, hearing, and doing. Augmented reality uh, is known as a technology of one of the top five by Goldman Sachs that helps to activate all those senses, that helps, that helps to, uh, to create the revolution in the whole educational space. Being one of the top technologies, it helps to personalize learning experiences because some of us are visual, some of us are audials. So augmented reality actually talks to all those senses. Thinking of augmented reality, 
I, um, I, I was talking to more than 750 educators around the world. And I was thinking, what is that supposed to be a technology that can actually mitigate the whole gap between the information that we have and the way we can acquire it? Augmented reality helps with seeing, hearing, and touching the knowledge. This is the essential instrument that can help educators to save their time in delivering the information to the kids and finding personalized practices. For example, one of the, uh, one of the educators shared the story with me that they used the augmented reality in the, in the class with the kids with ADHD. Kids with ADHD are not able to concentrate for a long time on a specific part of the material. And if it's a book, they're getting bored pretty quickly and they're getting not interested in the material, so they're getting distracted. The augmented reality tools helped those kids to focus, interact all the time because uh, with, with, the, uh, with the content that was provided to them. Think that all the kids are right now on the devices and they are consuming the content the matter of consuming the content is one thing. It could be YouTube, it could be Google, it could be anything. But why it's not the augmented reality content that is academically relevant and that actually points out on strategic use of this um, visual tool? Another good um, example of using augmented reality at school um, was for the special needs kids with the autistic problems. They are not ready for the life situations and they need to get ready somehow. So it could be done by different ways. But one of the ways to do that is to use the augmented reality, where you can simulate the situation in real life and just get them ready for the, what's going on in the world. So that helped the kids uh, with the autistic problems to learn how to cross the street, how to get ready for the shopping, how to, get, how to be there out there in the environment of the people, others. So, think of learning about space and engineering. Um, when you were a kid, you probably had a book. So think like, how was the, uh, what was the possibility of you to become the, uh, the space engineer and in get interested in the uh, space construction? And think if you have the, had the opportunity when you were a kid to get to, to, get to do something like this, to hold a real spaceship in your and at your fingertips and build the rocket and launch into the space. How different your career would be now. Think of studying geometry and cross, uh, cross section, just having a book. That could be useful for some kids, but it could be difficult for some other kids. And think if you have the combination of a book and visual technology that with the help of mobile device allows you to do different manipulations. That's why I say that the augmented reality is the helpful tool for the educators, parents, and kids likewise. I was thinking for a while why the uh, educators would not be adopting technology um, at school straight away because it's so exciting, so many exciting technologies out there. I decided to volunteer a couple of workshops with the augmented reality uh, for teachers and in their classrooms. And I have found out that there are several learning points that actually come with, the, with delivering technology like this um, in the classroom. And I'm going to share those learning points with you right now. So the first and important thing, the, uh, the education should be amazing. It should amaze kids. It should provide um, interest in the information. In the K-12 space, kids are open to new information and learnings. And according to one of the researchers, it is important uh, for the kids at K-12 to use the technologies like augmented reality because it helps to, de uh, to develop fantasy. Education should activate thinking. Active thinking is the key area where the kids are struggling right now. They're not able to identify where is the false information and where is the truthful information? According to statistics, today in Europe, only one out of five kids is able to identify if the information is fal uh, false or if it's, a, if it's a, a correct one. And also, education should teach the future. Teaching the future is feeling what the future would be look like. What are my strengths that I need to apply in the future? What are the skills that might be required? 
the important thing why it is important is because we just don't know what the future is going to be. Even if we share the list of the jobs that you see right now on the screen, it shows you that it's unidentified, the whole future. So, we define the success of every student by their ability to adopt in personal and professional life. We need to keep in mind that whatever we we can plant whatever we want. It just we're going to harvest what we have planted. Education should teach fantasy and creativity. And augmented reality is one of the tools that helps to teach creati creative thinking and innovation. And I think that combining creative thinking and innovation we can develop the whole every uh, the whole um, generation of the students that will be innovative and um, li uh, living with the creative fantasy and thinking around the world. I believe that one day educators around the world will be able to give the path to their, to their uh, students to success by providing them the opportunity to see, hear, and touch the knowledge with the augmented reality, thus creating the opportunity to develop the 21st century skills shape the society of the future and influence future economic development. And what do you believe in? <laughs>